Many people get excited when they hear you can print articulated models pre-assembled, meaning you can print moving parts with different joints straight out of the printer. Well, doesn't that sound like a pain in the R? Well, actually, it's easier than you think. So that's why today we're going to be talking through printing articulated models. As you can see, we've printed many articulated models over the years, from small fish to big dragons. We're going to be printing this handsome articulated man and talking through what to think about when designing and printing your model. We're printing our model today in Polymax PLA. And if you want some for yourself, feel free to check the link out in the description. If you're designing your own model, there are a few things to think about. The first is tolerance. When printing with filaments, there's only so close you can go before small gaps start to seal themselves. One quick way to make sure this doesn't happen is to make sure the air gaps are at least 0.2 millimeters apart. However, this handy tolerance benchmark model from Zonia Verdu on pin shape is a great way to see what gap size you can achieve with your printer. You want to be safe and go slightly above what your minimum gap size is. It's important to have this tolerance as that way your articulated pieces will move correctly. Most of you already know that some models require supports when printing with overhanging angles more than 45 degrees. Please keep this in mind when generating the supports as they need to be easily removed and shouldn't stop the model from moving. It's also important to orientate your model in such a way that any supports won't fall and fuse with the rest of your model. Now, if you're not designing the model and just grabbing it from somewhere online, then you don't need to worry about these factors as much as the designer would have already thought about these things when designing the model. Except if you're resizing, you will need to double check that gap tolerance and when adding supports. A great modeler we recommend for articulated models is Fab365. They have many cool models available at great prices with most models not even requiring supports. And by the way, you can just use regular old print settings for articulated parts. However, if you're having trouble designing articulated points. Tinkercad have some really handy ready-made connectors that you can use as part of your model or just to test if you're printing these parts correctly. Tell us about your experiences printing articulated parts in the comments and if you like this video, found it useful, interesting or just like anything 3D printing in general, feel free to follow us and subscribe. Also follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and TikTok. Alright, did I miss anything? Yeah, I'm happy with that.